Hello everyone. We are putting plywood on our chicken house and putting bricks on it because here in southern Washington we are getting a storm coming in. They're saying on the news that it is going to be a mega storm and that there's going to be flooding and everything else so we shall see oh, my um, phone itself the weather on the phone says nothing so it's like it says 30% chance of rain but we're getting an alert on the computer and stuff saying that flood watch and possible tornadoes in southern Washington on up through central Washington coming through Oregon so I don't know we can look down south Oregon's not too far but just look down south a little ways and see some dark clouds coming in so I'm not sure what's going on over there but there's a little bit of a breeze picking up right now it's quite overcast off to the north a little bit you can see some clear skies but south of us it's starting to darken up pretty good so anyway this is how my garden's doing that's the onions I planted from the plants look at that look at the bulbs on those things that's crazy these ones over here I planted from bulb yeah the plants are big now but they really don't have much of a bulb on them yet the bulb hasn't started to grow it's not much bigger than the bulbs I planted but the ones were actually planted from the plant. Of course, like I said, they're different. They're Walla Walla Sweets, and these are yellow onions. But those things that are just from the plants are growing like crazy. Anyway, here's my marigolds I got planted throughout my garden. Of course, you don't usually get too many bugs around your onions, but anything to add smell around the garden to kind of deter the bugs a little bit. Got some corn going on. Got cabbage planted between my onions. <laughs> and some zucchinis. There's a couple zucchini plants. My peppers right there along the string. I got some bell peppers coming on. My tomatoes right here with the steaks. Those are those um, chocolates. Chocolate somethings. I know they taste really good. <laughs> and that over there, that is my um, shallots coming up and then some sunflowers that are coming up those are from the sunflowers I had last year those giant sunflowers I always get a bunch of those that come up volunteer I just let them come on up planted this little patch in my garden right here I had my boat sitting right here so it killed off the grass so instead of just planting grass in it I went and planted me some radishes and turnips so I can have me some more greens. I'm really enjoying those radish greens. So can't wait to get some turnip greens. Got more tomatoes over here. My onions. The onions in there I've been harvesting because I planted um, cucumbers. Pickling cucumbers. So hopefully everything survives the storm tonight. We'll see. Got my fence finished finally. So hopefully that will help some of the wind. All those radishes are harvested. I got the new ones already coming up. Row of radishes right there, and then underneath those leaves of the um, cabbage right there, I planted some more turnips. But since they're underneath the cabbage leaves, I don't know how well they're gonna do. Now that those cabbages are growing like crazy, it's like all of a sudden, boom! <laughs> Uh, of course, we got the weather's come in now, so it's nice and warm. So, I mean, look at those cabbage right there. Those are crazy. Those are the leaf cabbage, the not the head, but the bunch. Those are massive. My potatoes are growing like crazy. Starting to get flowers. Woohoo! That means the tubers are starting to develop underground. They're healed up. 
some marigolds right there I got planted. Got marigolds in my raised bed. Anything to protect them. Like I said, a couple weeks ago, I was everything was getting hit hard. My peas got hit hard. My lettuce. Now the lettuce is looking good. The peas went and planted a few more peas over here. And ran some string along here, and those peas are coming up pretty darn good. And the peas that were eating over here, whatever was chewing on them, are actually starting to shoot up pretty good. So. We'll see how those turn out. Well, here's another look at those onions. Those are looking pretty darn good. So, you all have a good one. Peppers. There's a green bell. That's a... Um, that's the blonde bell. So they're supposed to be the yellowish, whitish, whatever. Haven't ever planted those before. There's a red one and a green one. and so We'll see how they do. My zucchini. I know there's zucchini. So. Alright, y'all. Have a good one. Hopefully this storm ain't too bad, but I'll try to make some video of it if it ends up being crazy like they're saying it's going to be. Every four or five years we get a small tornado here in um, um, southern Washington up into central Washington. But they're saying this storm is going to be a big one and it's going to increase our chances of getting some. So we'll see. Alright y'all, have a good one. Be safe. Thanks for watching. You're the best. Bye.